Hey everybody, what can I say? We actually had a good round last time. Um, we're on Hickory Creek Golf Course. It's an easy uh, course with a par of 72. But if you'll excuse me, we're not going to be playing the full course. We're only going to be playing the front nine. And uh, that gives us a par of 36. All right, it makes sense, I suppose. Let's send it. Thornforge getting ready to make it out of Q school. We're prepared. That would definitely, I think we've had at least or at most two good rounds. <laughs> uh, so I guess what I'm saying is we've had two good rounds. So I'm excited to see um, how we do here. This is a very narrow fairway. I think you pretty much just want to hit it like bang on and perfect. That seemed fast. Yeah, it's probably going to curve into the sand. Maybe we'll be in the rough. Maybe we'll be on the fairway. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad we didn't uh, lower our shot for the purposes of uh, cowardice. This has got good carry to it, and the wind is very, very low. So I think we're actually fine to just do something like this. <laughs> Hello, Tomo. You know, you're not supposed to meow during somebody's uh, backswing, buddy. It's all right. My bigger problem there was, was not placement, but power. And that approach was a bit wayward. It was, it was, John. I, Third shot. No offense taken here. Um, we're, we're hitting like a part of the green that's going to suck the ball backwards. So I actually think we go gap wedge chip and then maybe try to land it right there. 99% power instead. Good shot. Oh! <laughs> the irony being, if we had kept our previous shot, we probably would have nailed it, but that's okay. That's okay. That's a good par. That's a good par. All right, good stuff. We got some XP. I have no idea what we use it for, but that's okay. This is a heck of a par five right here. Let me tell you, good old Toronto kid. Let's go. Here we go. Slow? Okay, I'm, I'm surprised. But honestly, little slow, not that bad. Very slow, catastrophic. Little slow, not that bad. So this one, they might as well just ask, are you a, are you a coward or do you like to send it? And I like to send it. Is this, is this reasonably safe? Let's say it's reasonably safe. Still safe, I think. Again, little slow, not that bad. <laughs> you might think that, by the way, I'm disappointed with PGA Tour 2K21. I'm not at all. I actually am having an awesome time with it. Um, and I, I like it. I'm enamored with it more than the Golf Club 2019 right now, um, which makes sense because it's newer. But I actually think that the higher degree of difficulty, at least as I perceive it, has also, um, I think I think it actually increases the, the value of the game, in my opinion, quite frankly. I mean, it seems like a good chance to get to a birdie putt right here. That seems slow, yeah. But it's a slowness that puts us, I was going to say, hopefully onto a part of the green where we got a chance here. This is only our second hole. I'm looking, and I'm like, you know, it's pretty flat. I don't think we use putt resin. I don't think we use putt resin. No need for putt resin. Look at that. Hit me with the tiger. All right. Minus one. I actually like there's something to be said for the fact that the game has beguiled me a little bit more. I think leading to us being, you know, more engaged. There we go. That one felt right as soon as it left the club face. And you can tell like, I mean, this is I think the mark of a well-designed game. I think like HB Studio with the Golf Club 2019, it was exactly the same. But in this, it feels that way, too. Um, you know, it's a great job of making a game where, uh, you know, you feel like you struggle a bit at first. But as you get it, you can see, like, noticeable improvements in your game. Which is really how I see us right now. This is going to carry seven yards after it lands. But if we land it, like, here, it might carry less. Which is really what we want, weirdly enough. 
This is not weird. Oh my god. What what was that swing timing, dude? We're very lucky that there's a fairway uh, here. That was just not even close. All right, so we're pitching it. This looks actually completely fine to me. I'll pull it back just slightly and then send it. Might carry far. He went... I'm a That's that's hey ho featuring John. Now I'll tell you, I'm I'm gonna use a little putt resin here. We shouldn't need it, but I wanted to use it. There's one down the drain. This putt's tracking. I wanted to use it just to make sure we didn't screw it up. Let's keep that birdie we got. All right. So we got two resins remaining. That's going to be in the sand. Oh, it's going to crest over the sand. Thank you, 101% power, for at least allowing us to get in the rough. We got we to gotta sort out this swing timing, though. Just so you know, might want to compensate here. Little fast again, totally fine. It's just slow, very slow is the disaster world. All right, that's not bad. Back on the fairway. Genuinely good chip attempt here is going to carry five yards. I think because this is going uphill, this is a very sensible way to do this. Count for the lie of the green. We were slow again, and our power was off too, apparently. Got this left. All right, so this is the kind of putt you got to be able to sink. We're hitting uphill. This putt's good so far. No, it's not, John. John, they got to work on your vocal training because that's just like... It's not really your fault, Johnny. It's kind of salt-inducing when the putt is clearly off from the get-go and you go, ah, it's a good-looking putt. It's not your fault. It's, I'm, I'm being immature about it, but still. Okay, so we want to... Like, right there, we're back to even. And then just land. Oh, dude, this this could be a dream come true. Your approach is heading a little left. No kidding! Oh, is it? I didn't notice. Apparently, my approach is heading a little left, everybody. In case you're, uh, in case you're curious. So there's a... Uh, Eight iron splash carries for another 16 yards after it lands, but it's got to get up that hill. <laughs> I think it's worth trying, though. I'll, I'll deal with the fact that that's a little fast. It did get up the hill. That's relatively good. And what do we got here? We got a slight roll down. This would be nice. This would be a nice one. That looks good. That Okay, we're back. We're back. We got a par on hole four. We're on the sixth hole, and we got... Uh... Oh, this is fine. We got two resins remaining. When you, when it's good, it's good. I just wish I could catch that lightning in the bottle, but I, I, I really can't. <laughs> or I have not been able to yet. Let's, let's not be too defeatist about it. I have not been able to yet. Okay, 165 to the pin. 167. We got a six mile an hour wind. This will carry six yards upon landing. This with a perfect shot is probably pretty good. I'll live with that. I've made my choice. I'll live with it. That looks great to me. It's probably going to roll a little too far, but... It's going to roll a lot too far. We should have put some uh, backspin on it or maybe some loft, but still. Pretty good. This is for birdie. And we're... It's going to carry another five yards. I think I can live with that. Because is it going uphill? It's not really going uphill nor downhill. Uh, okay, so something like this. A perfect shot. We really got to start chipping up. Well done. Okay, four feet to go. We still got two resins remain. Okay, two two resins remain. Three holes remain. So I mean, dude, uh, <laughs> oh, it's a little spooky. Don't get me wrong. 
But at this point, I don't really have... Uh, it's not like I really have to defend my position. You know, I think, it, if anything, we've got to aggressively kind of attack. I don't mind being on the fringe of the fairway on that one. It doesn't bother me at all. Don't give me that aw. I think this is fine. Usually a loft or a flop is a little bit of an easier shot to to get. But we can't get it even close to far enough. So I think we're on we're on pitch. Yeah. What is yeah, yeah. pitch gap wedge this way and a little back. I support it. I support it. Beautiful shot, dude. Okay. Starting to get it <laughs> on day 7, but we're going to be playing this game for a while. This is for birdie. No resin required on this. And we'll use it for our last two holes. Looking good. Beautiful putt. Beautiful putt. Well, that one drop, not for birdie. Okay, we're at minus one. We got two resins remain on two holes. We've been doing a really good job on this one, except for the occasional brain fart. Okay, so this says six yards of carry. I honestly think we, we still want to pull it back just slightly, even though that might seem backwards. And then I think everything else looks pretty good. I think we're good to send it. Good swing. Dead on, 100% power. Wind was a little stronger than anticipated. Now remember, we have putt resin available here. We're putting uphill. So I think like here looks pretty good to me. Let's see how they feel about that. Wouldn't have even been close. So I think you need to go a little bit more right than you'd anticipate here. I think maybe like there. Okay, we got par, we got minus one. We're trying to protect scratch golf. <laughs> protect scratch golf. I think this is where we want to be, right here. With the wind, that should take us very safely away from the sand trap, but still on the fairway. If we had hit it slow, we would have been to the left, which would have been fine. If we hit it fast, we would have been to the right, which would have given us a pretty good chance. All right, this one is... Actually, possibly could make it onto the green, but it's a bit of a long shot. A little fast, but the wind is blowing to the left. Still going to basically just keep it straight, but hey, this one was not making it onto the green anyway, apparently. I, I slightly misjudged it. If we could just freeze right there, that's a great place for it to freeze. It's a par, it's a par 5. Oh my god, dude. The chip will carry for another 5 yards. Honestly... I think we want to club up and then pull it just back slightly. Because I, I tend to under hit it, apparently. So this looks about right to me. I didn't even get close to the right amount of power and was also <laughs> very slow. All right, so with resin, we do want to deviate just slightly... To the left, like so, I think. This one's tracking. Beautiful. Dude, we hit a minus two on our final day. I do it. This is a great golden goblet because by the end of it, I do feel like I'm starting to get it together. I feel like I'm 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 doing a lot better now as a result. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And of course, I mean, come on, nice drip on uh Oh, Borvad, right? I mean, Thornforge. If you did enjoy it, please do click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. There may be more Golden Goblet Golf PGA Tour 2K21 in our future. This is a lot of fun and also very easy to do. <laughs> but a lot of fun as well. For now, thanks for watching. See you next time. See you.